Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 53. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons please. Thank you. Well, we are going to continue the log loading. Not a whole lot left. So I will have a little bit of a time lapse here at the beginning. And... The plants should get ready for harvest before I finish this, so that's on that's our goal for the day. Harvest. Okay, I had fewer logs than I thought. So I will just continue down the row here, looking over my shoulder occasionally at the plants to see if they are harvestable yet. I changed my mind. Why don't we empty this first and then let's get a plow out and outline a field or two. I think we should have a big field right here. And we'll have it come back to... I'm gonna say... that bush right there, center bottom of the screen. This one right there. I don't want to get any closer to the rock than that, I don't think. It's some place to start anyway. So I have added a new video to my endeavors. My nephew wanted to play some Minecraft again and neither one of us have played in a while so it's bound to be funny at times I would think we shot our first video and found it hard to uh, keep it PG I don't know Something about creepers. But we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna keep it family friendly. 
Whoop, I didn't want to do that. There we go. I'm calling it Minecraft Weekly. And the two of us are going to work some time out once a week or so that we can get together over the internet and do some gaming. Alright, so... I have been told that you can fill the water in. You just can't do it where it's deep. And I have experimented with that, and I can take it one step further and say you can build a bridge where it's deep. You just have to look at land that's not deep while you're placing landscaping. So, let's see. Let's just leave that right there the way it is. And we want to use this tractor... And before I do that, I see that we have another pallet of wool. And we need to keep on top of that. And let's see. There it is over there. Have to use the right tractor. And they're a little dirty, of course, so we'll clean them up. Bouncy, bouncy. Whoops, I forgot one. Right there. Come on, get it. There we go. Oh, just about ran over my water trough there. We can back this up and drop that off. And I thought I left my forks. Oh. Here's some forks I can use right here, but this isn't. Okay, I'm having one of those moments. I thought I was using regular forks over here. Something I need to test out in some future episode. I believe I was told that my bale trailer that I have will actually pick up the 6,000 pound square bales. Not that I think I'm going to have a problem with too many bales. But you never know. Let's put the strap on the top there, like that. And now we've got room to build more. Hmm. 
Why isn't it giving me the okay? Oh, that's not... That's not the spike for this. Is the spike on there? Well, I thought I had bale spikes over here. Well, no, we're gonna... I don't know where to leave them. I guess I started leaving them over here. I'll leave them over here. need lights at this time. Triangle. Alright, now I'm going to back up, set that down, disconnect that, because I should be using this when I grab bales to put in there. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it back over by the wool. And then we will use this one exclusively for round bales and straw. Here we go. Ooh. Didn't think I was high enough there. Get in there. Perfecto. I got a feeling they're going to take a lot. I get the right screen. Eh, they're fine. I'll let this one finish and we'll be done. Those plants should be ready to harvest. Oh, I want to detach there. And now it's aimed on this side, so it's easier to get to. Alright, we will park this over here. And now we will go get our... Plow. I still have I still got corn in there. I may have to get rid of that. Let's see here. There it is. Behind the weeder. Ooh, too far.
Whoops, can't see when I'm under that or over that. Oh, don't hit those. Okay. How far away from the road did I get? A little bit wider than a plow. Well, we can see up here. One, two, three, four, five squares wide. Too bad we can't see the squares on this side. was gonna guess I'd go like that and I would say I hit the wrong button right here at the edge of this grass is what I'm thinking and I have to have it on 270. I am going to landscape just a little. Just ever so slightly. I'm going to paint. green and I should do it where I don't have grass that way I don't lose the grass it's just gonna be a little bit of a sneak coming into the area there can we see not really. Let's get rid of these weeds. There, I got it. There we go. Now, there we can see it. So, one, two, three, four, and this one would be five right there. So, yep, where I got my tractor. That's a good place to start. All right. So, let us... Um, let's back up here. If I do it right at the corner of the road, and let's pull forward just a little. Let's do it right about there. All right, let's see what happens. Um, I need to have, I still need that open. I need to have the, no, don't speed up time. Help window on, there we go. Lower the plow, create fields. Hold it at 270. Here we go. It's being a good boy. I like that. Whoops, we curved just a little bit. Not enough to worry me yet. Not sure. I think it's curving to the left. If that's the case, it will be fine. I can always bump it back out. Now we got a ways to go. Oop, now we went the other way. Oh, it's trying. 
I'm going to say that that is probably close enough. Right where I got that little booger on the road. I don't know what I did to do that. Alright, let's see. That would be about right there. Except I'm not on the right line. 190. No, 180 is what I want. Right there. Lower it. I guess I lined up with that bush, not the other bush. Darn it, that's a little too close. I will probably end up getting rid of some of this and pushing it to the left. And now, how far do I want to go? I'm going to call that good. And looky what I found. Where'd it go? There it is. Oops. I'm not near the corner anymore. I just have to throw it out here in the center. Well, don't put it in the grass. I'll lose it. I think I put the wrong texture down on the road. No. The whole road's that way. All right. Sneak over to the edge of this one. And this time we want 90 degrees. And I think it's going to drift to the right on me, so that's why I set it at 89.9. Oh my goodness. I may have gotten too close to the edge of the water. I may have to do just a little bit of landscaping before this will get all the way up there. I didn't want it this close. No, nope, we're going to make it. That is pretty close. That's a lot closer than I was planning on. We're going to have to be careful when we're uh, doing f uh, field work. The uh, helpers are probably going to drive into the water. I can't see where I started. Am I cheating by doing this? Ooh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Alright. We will lift it. We will limit to fields. So as I drive over here, I don't bouncy bounce. Come on, fields.
And now I want it on... Looks like I want it on 180. Right there. 180 or just a tad higher. Okay, create fields. Lower it. Those bushes are going to upset me. Uh-oh. Found another one. Guess I'm gonna do another little piece going back. I made this side longer than the other side. Maybe that'll get rid of a couple of those bumps. All right, zero. We want. Oops. We want zero. Three sixty. Jumping all over the place. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Oh. There we go. Gonna get rid of one of these bushes. Two. I think that is a good job. A job well done. Alright, I'm gonna go around one more time. And then we will go get the other plow. Oh, the other plow isn't... No, I think it will now. I think the update will allow me to create new fields with it. But I want to make one more round with this so that I've got a little bit of a comfort zone so I don't make a mistake. We are going to be ready to do lots and lots of planting. We're going to be able to support more animals. I don't know how these things keep showing up. I've driven over it over and over again and never find them. We will leave that right there for now. Let's go grab the semi-tractor.
Where would, where's the door? There we go. Alright, let's see. I need to find the big yellow Cultiplow. Right there it is. Now, I believe this is supposed to create fields now. So, it's not giving me the option. <gasps> no, it isn't doing it. Well, I am going to take a quick intermission and reload this mod and see what happens. And I will be back with you in an instant. It has a mind of its own. Well, if you can use the culti plow. As a field creator. Without having to buy a separate one. I can't figure it out. So. If you know about it. Let me know in the comments, please. I would appreciate it. In the meanwhile... I guess I will make... this field... with this 4 meter job. And I'll see you... when it's done. Let's get these things turned off. Well, I need that, but I don't need this. Let's see, that turns it on, that lowers it down. Just like that. Alright, see you when it's done. I do believe that is a tree stump. Uh, where am I going? I need to find my grinder. There it is. guess it's just a tire track, but I don't remember ever seeing that color of a tire track. Okay. Back to plowing.
And that field is ready to plant. Let's tuck this up here out of the way. And get semi truck tractor. When did the plants get ready to harvest? Yay. Let's hook up this planter, since I'm in the middle of this, and we'll haul it over to the new field. Oh, that's right, this takes liquid fertilizer. And I think this is herbicide. Yep. Herbicide. That won't work. Yeah, we got enough, I think. Nice new field, all ready to go. There, that's better. Alrighty. Well, we need to get ready to do some planting. I mean, some harvesting. But, we have run out of time. I'd like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I'd like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.